Hey everybody, how's it going? So tonight we're going to do a quick little tutorial on how to set up your Xbox controller or PlayStation controller or whatever you got with Universal G-Code Center so you can control your CNC. Um, so for more videos like this, please like and subscribe and, and we'll get some more posted. Um, so obviously I've got a Millwright, but if you've got a, um, a Shapoko, if you've got a Onefinity, if you've got an X-Car, if you're using UGS to control um, your CNC, this will work for you. Uh, and, and almost completely uh, out of the box, too. This was, I only maybe programmed like one or two other buttons to do anything. So uh, it's really slick. So the, the left thumbstick here is controlling the X and the Y. And it is a continuous jog when you do that, but it will move in both axes simultaneously. Um, the D pad will move the X and the Y in the steps that you have identified on the UGS screen. Uh, so, like, if I have a, a one or a five millimeter step, the D-pad will do that. And then the right thumbstick moves the jogs, the, uh, the Z, up and down. And then when I get close to my workpiece, I will use the Y and the A buttons to do micro steps. So right now I've got this programmed to, like, a 0.1 millimeter resolution. So I can do that and sort of hit this with a piece of paper and get things all dialed in. And then I have set up my right trigger here as to set zero. So if I right trigger that, you can see the screen just below the camera set. So that is now home. Uh, and so now I can sort of uh, jog this around. I can move this way over here. And I program my select button here to actually go back to zero. So there you have it. Uh, and those are really the only two buttons I programmed. Everything else I sort of left alone. Uh, it doesn't do all of the buttons on this controller. It does do almost all of them, I think, except for this, uh, the Xbox Home button. I was really hoping I could program this to do something. Uh, but it didn't seem to be recognized. So, uh, whatever. It is what it is. No big deal. So, why don't we go, uh, real quick into how you set this up. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, minimize this out of the way here. And what you'll do is you'll need to be running sort of a newish version of uh, UGS. I don't know exactly which release this was put into. So before you run off an upgrade, if you've got an older version, I'm running 2.0.11. Um, but before, like I said, before you run off and do anything, come here to Tools, come to Options. And across the top here, you've got a bunch of buttons, uh, a bunch of uh, icons here we're going to click on UGS. And then uh, your tabs running here and the lower ribbon, come all the way over here to Joystick. And when this is active, uh, nothing here works, right? So nothing on your keyboard. But you'll notice that the actual, um, the buttons will light up. So on the left-hand side of the screen there, so if I do a D-pad up, you can see that it blinks green. Uh, so you can sort of figure out, right, where and what your keys are doing. Um, so again, if I hit that, it does nothing. But if I hit my select button or if I hit my back button, those light up, so you know what's what. And I, I've looked all up and down this thing, and my little Xbox Home button does do anything. And that's fine, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, then you've got your L1s and your R1s. And if we scroll down just a bit. All right, so we've got that and that. And now for the R3s, it's actually the, the, click, the, the click down on the left and right. So if we click... And so you can program those. That seems a little dangerous because it's super sensitive. You can see if I just even just a little bit, it uh, kind of screws things. So I'm going to avoid the click downs on those. But everything else, uh, super slick. Um, so do, to actually program one of your buttons, uh, it's really easy. You come in here. So like I said, I did my R2 to set my zero. You come in here, you click on your button. You have several different categories of actions that you can program. You're going to use action and machine. You're going to scroll down here to reset your zero. Uh, here you go, reset zero. You click that, and now that is bound to that key. Uh, now you can use this key to reset just your Z, your X, or your Y, uh, no problem. Um, super, super easy. You can also set up a button to be your send command. So once you've got everything zeroed and ready to go, you can program a button on your joystick to actually send the Z code, uh, the G code to the machine and run the run the G code. Um, I've also come up here and set up um, again this this uh, select button or my start button uh, rather 
to return to zero. So once I've set zero and I've moved the head off and some other, you know, set in space, uh, I come here to return to zero, same thing, actions, run down here and find return to zero. There we go, find that key to it. Uh, and then when you're done, you simply hit apply and okay. Uh, and if you don't hit apply and okay, then nothing will work. Uh, you're, you're, you'll be basically a dead stick. So if I move this up, I can move this over. Uh, and now I can hit select and come back down to home. So um, there you go. It's really easy. Uh, there are obviously other ways of doing this. There are uh, third-party programs like joy to key uh, where if you really want to get into like doing um, crazy key mapping um, things between your your keyboard to send controls directly to your joystick and get into some some super fine detail or if you have like a pendant with a lot of buttons on it and you want to program your pendant to do certain things uh, that's a really great way to do it too. Uh, this one is super easy and will make my life a little bit easier since I don't have to bob and weave my head back and forth to, to look at my computer screen and then my router yada yada yada. So anyway there you go. Hope it helps somebody. Uh, again, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll do more. Thanks.